Well, good evening. It's Sunday night on December 3rd, 2017. And we have, over here in the east, a full moon, super moon rising. But funny this. Look at that muck in the sky. We have had clear skies all day. Yeah, now that it's rising, hmm, this black muck comes around. Anyway, there's not much we can see at the moment, so I shall be back. Um, <laughs> it's really weird. Well, here, let me get this other stuff out. So at the moment, it's uh, four degrees above the horizon. And the distance, well, this thing is in kilometers, so we have to convert it when we go in. It's uh, 357,169, 168, 167. It keeps changing every second. Um, so 357, 165 kilometers away at the moment, according to Sky Safari Pro. Well, maybe I won't shut it off. It's kind of a cool look, isn't it? <laughs> But it's way over in the east. I think when it was uh, right on the horizon, maybe about one degree up, I think it was in the northeast. So it's, it's pretty far over there. Look at that orange glow. Wow. Yeah, it looks big to the eye, that's for sure. As it's peeking up above the uh, tree line. We might be able to go in and actually see some features there yeah a little bit that's whoops sorry that's a cool shot it's hard to tell but it looks like there's this black mass up above it or it could be an opening I don't know <laughs> yeah it's quite yellow it should whiten up tonight, though, as it uh, gets higher in the sky, I think. All right, let's go in a little bit more. All righty, the very top. A lot of atmosphere, of course. But there's our, uh, our mesa and our <laughs> crater with a light beam shooting out of it. And at least it's what it looks like. The cluster marks coming in. I haven't been able to locate. Uh, now these aren't the best shots to get it this time of day. Uh, but I haven't been able to find the the letters and numbers that were big. That were kind of like as big as that uh, question mark. And it's right around this area somewhere. <laughs> but there we go. get a better shot of it. I'm gonna try to take a still picture too. There we go. And that's quite cool as it's rising above the tree. Go out again to see uh, the distance. So there's a security light there. The roof line should be showing. And it's almost made it. Let's see now. Well, I hope uh, you guys are going to have good viewing tonight, wherever you are. It's been getting dark early here. The sun's been setting really early. I think tonight it was um, 4.54 p.m., which is quite odd and for a reason I might explain later, but... Uh, <laughs> I think right above that tree branch is a power line. Yeah. And there it is. There it is. Mm, okay. I can see a tree branch. Um, the camera's not picking it up, but it's right across the middle of it. <laughs> yeah, we got our wavy uh, 
atmosphere, gases, water, whatever. <laughs> it sure does look like it's underwater, doesn't it? <laughs> oh my. Just get the bottom for a second. Yeah, it's rising pretty quick when you zoom in. This far manages books. But yeah, the uh, the video just does not hold a candle to watching this by eye because you can actually see the surrounding trees and houses and stuff like that. And you can see how freaking big this is. <laughs> It's not super humongous, but it, it's bigger than uh, some of the others I've seen throughout the year. But yeah, um, I know this is probably, will sound weird to some people, but, oh, there's a power line. <laughs> and there you can see the tree branch coming in from the right. That's cool. Anyway, I, <laughs> I know this will probably sound kind of weird, but... I don't like filming the full moon near as much as I do when it's uh, in its phases because it just looks like a, a flat disc up there, you know? You can't see any details or anything. You can't see the craters and I don't know, it's just such a flat view. <laughs> Cut in half right at the equator. <laughs> All right, but we're not going to stay out here too long. It's quite nippy. It's in the 30s already, so I know some folks already got shut out, like JR over in the UK. They had a uh, cloudy sky, so so it'd be nice if their skies would clear up over the night, so they'd be able to check this out then. Like I said, when it uh, gets overhead, I probably won't be out when it'll look bigger because uh, it's cold so <laughs> but on this uh, super duper moon night from up here in northeastern Ohio I'm going to wish you all a wonderful evening and a great Monday ahead y'all take care I hope to see you tomorrow bye for now